Do you use Tinkercad to design your 3D prints? Well, stay tuned and I'll show you a few tips and tricks. Tinkercad Tips and Tricks is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. In this episode, I'm going to talk about what I call relative alignment. Let's assume that you have a design like this dumb thing I've built here. I got a block and multiple cylinders, but I got them positioned just exactly where I want. Now I could just group these together, but then I realized I wanted a hole in the center of the just the block. So if I grouped those together, I couldn't center to just the block. Not easily anyway with the line tool. So I want all this stuff to stay in place. So I grab the hole and I grab the block and I click align. But if I use the align tool as defaulted, it's going to move the block up, which I don't want, and bring the cylinder down. I want the block to stay where it's at. I don't want it to move. So here's what you can do. Rather than click on that center where it brings everything up, you actually click on the item you don't want to move. In this case, I'll click on the block. Notice the align tool dots change. Now it shows me that the cylinder will move down to the block and the block will not move. So it, I can center to just the block and never move it. Now, let's just say I wanted to center to the cylinder, the, the hole up here. Let me do it again. I'll grab them both. I'll click on the line, but now I'll click on the cylinder. Notice the align tool, little dots, <laughs> alignment dots, move up to there, and it shows that the block will move up. So this is a relative alignment, as I call it. I don't know what the official name is, but... This can be very handy, especially if you're deep into a design and you don't want to move everything. It's just something you forgot. This way you can just align those particular items that you want and leave the ones that you don't want to move alone. So there you have it. A little helpful tip or trick to learning Tinkercad. So if you like this, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to check out some of my other videos, just click on them over here. Want to help support the channel, a dollar a month to Patreon. If nothing else, click on my logo and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.